Welcome back everyone. The Kyrie Irving trade rumors went dead there for a little while, but following Kevin Durant reaffirming its trade request to the Brooklyn Nets, they are now back in full force. If you don't quite understand why, well, it's primarily because their availability is directly linked together, as the Brooklyn Nets are reportedly not willing to trade Kyrie Irving before Kevin Durant. On the flip side of that though, the Lakers are now reportedly willing to go all in to get Kyrie Irving. According to Javon Buha of The Athletic, they are prepared to offer two first round draft picks to get him. But should they be willing to do that? And what are the pros and cons that could arise from them trading for him? We will talk about exactly that in today's video. And to begin, con number one is that two first round draft picks is the most they can currently offer, because right now, they are only able to trade their 2027 and 2029 first round pick due to the Anthony Davis trade. No, that does not mean those are the only first round draft picks that they own, which is a very common misconception, but they are currently the only ones that they can actually trade. Due to the NBA trade rules, a team cannot trade consecutive first round draft picks, so even though they own their 2023 first round pick, they are not able to trade it since they traded their 2022 and 2024 first round pick. And that is why they have been valuing their draft picks so highly. Up until this point, they have not been willing to trade more than one first round pick to get rid of Westbrook. But if the aforementioned report can be believed, they might be changing their minds for Kyrie Irving, and the pressure Kevin Durant is putting on Brooklyn is very likely contributing to that. In that regard, the Lakers could be viewing this as an opportunity. We all know how badly LeBron wants Kyrie Irving, and I imagine they are doing their best to make him happy. Although, they need to be sure the player they are giving up their draft picks for is worth it, and while there is no denying Kyrie Irving's talent, there is a lot of question about his availability. If they if they were to trade both of their draft picks for a guy who is not committed to them or their future, and El Rey may not even be available at times, then it would end up looking like a horrible move in the future. With all of that being said though, there are definitely both pros and cons to talk about here, and coming in at pro number 1, that would have to be his fit with LeBron and Anthony Davis, because on paper, they would appear to be a match made in heaven. We already know how great LeBron and Kyrie fit together, but I don't think there is much of a question about AD either, as he would theoretically complement them perfectly. He may not be the talented off-ball power forward that Kevin Love or Chris Bosh were, both of whom needed to become that to work effectively with LeBron, along with another ball dominant player on offense, but I'm not sure he'd need to be either. Anthony Davis can do a lot of the things that they did, but also more that neither of them could do. He can provide some of the 3 point shooting that Love and Bosch provided, but much more in terms of drawing attention on offense. Neither Kevin Love nor Chris Bosch had the gravitational pull on offense that AD does. Immediately upon getting the ball in the high post, he will draw a double team almost every time. He covers more ground than they can as well which makes him a better lob threat, a better pick and roll partner, and a much better defensive anchor. And that is something that LeBron James and Kyrie Irving, neither of whom are great defenders anymore, definitely need behind them. Now moving on to con number 2 though, and here we have the long term commitment to Kyrie Irving, as that is something they definitely need to weigh heavily here. Kyrie Irving is only under contract for one more year, and not only does he want a contract extension, but he wants one that would pay him a maximum level salary. Do they or should they really want to commit to a guy like him though? After all, Kyrie Irving is not known for his commitment, so why should they feel confident that he will commit long term to them? I mean sure, there have been reports about him wanting to be in LA long term, but then again, he said the same thing about Boston. And I think we all know how that turned out. You can never predict even one day in advance with Kyrie Irving, let alone trying to predict four years in advance with him. And if I were the Lakers, the thought of that alone would make me nervous. They don't have a young up and coming star to have as a backup plan. They would basically be going all in on him not only right now, but for really the next half decade too. Now they obviously have Anthony Davis go along with him, who although is committed to them, there is a lot of question about his ability to remain healthy. 
And having those two as my future would not be very comforting. Committing max level money to one of them alone is taking a risk, but committing it to both of them is borderline reckless. Now moving on to pro number two though, and here we have his timeline with them. Kyrie Irving is only 30 years old, and that perfectly matches what they are trying to do in the immediate future. He not only fits the win now mentality with LeBron, but he would theoretically fit their 3-5 to five year timeline with Anthony Davis too. And looking past the money issue that we just got done talking about, it would be a near perfect fit in terms of timeline, as they do not currently have a backup plan for that. Like I referred to before, they don't have a young player who can truly be viewed as having star potential. They definitely have some nice young talent, but nothing close to being on that level. And with them not having a ton of draft picks within the near future, that likely won't become an option for them either. I mean, maybe they could get lucky and hit big on a second round pick, but the odds of them finding a star player in the second round are very low. Regardless of if they keep their two tradable first round draft picks or not, their 3-5 to five year future is not looking good without another star, and they cannot rely on LeBron to do that beyond one more year. Now moving on to con number 3 though, and here we have his declining defense. It may not seem like a big issue, but Kyrie Irving has been noticeably declining on defense lately. And now at 30 years old, that decline will only continue. He was never a great defender to begin with, but now he is borderline bad on defense. Again, they do have Anthony Davis to help make up for that, but with LeBron being a poor defender most of the time now too, not even Anthony Davis can make up for both of them playing subpar defense. An overlooked aspect of why Westbrook failed on their team was defense. They did not have enough good defenders around him and LeBron to make up for their poor defense, which definitely contributed to their failure. And that could become an issue with Kyrie Irving as well. Now I do think they have an improved defense compared to last season, but with the addition of Kyrie Irving and possibly another poor defender like Seth Curry, that would bring them down a little bit. I don't like to end on a negative note though, so pro number 3 happens to be his 3 point shooting and off ball ability, and that is something they desperately need right now. I mean, to say that they need more 3 point shooting would be putting it lightly, because right now, their best 3 point shooter is Kendrick Nunn, and that is a definite problem. Kyrie Irving is a great fit with LeBron for many reasons, but one of the primary ones would have to be his 3 point shooting and overall ability to play off the ball. At this point, that is pretty much a requirement for a point guard to fit well with LeBron, which has only been further confirmed by Dennis Schroeder and Russell Westbrook. The addition of Kyrie Irving would help their entire offense, and he would immediately become their best 3 point shooter or maybe even second best if they would get Joe Harris or Seth Curry. With all of that being said though, that will conclude my thoughts on the Lakers going all in for Kyrie Irving, along with the pros and cons to doing that too. And what do you guys think? After listening to the video, would you go all in on Kyrie Irving? Let me know your thoughts by commenting down below and we can talk about it there. That will do it for this video though. Big thank you to those of you who took the time to watch until the end of this video, and until the end of all of my videos in general. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to get notified right away when I drop a new video. But as always, thank you for watching, and have a great day.